how do you compete with the Giants, all of whom are here when it comes to AI talent? Well, we've picked some really interesting places to invest when it comes to AI. One of the things that we've really focused on is image, video, and 3D generation, where Snapchat is really differentiated as a camera with people making billions of snaps every day. And so building our own image and video models, especially models that are small enough to run on device, is a real competitive advantage for us because it allows us to bring this technology to hundreds and hundreds of millions of people without the cost of running that server side. So I think We've picked some really interesting places to compete. And then as we look at the future and we look at uh, our, our specs glasses, one of the things that's so exciting about that is that so many people are wondering, what is the user interface going to be for AI, right? And a lot of this reminds me of the early days of social, where people were using social media or instant messenger on a desktop, right? And you could feel this early inkling of, wow, this technology is going to be really popular. But it wasn't until the smartphone came along that that really exploded. And I think the same thing is going to happen for AI. AI is constrained to a little, you know, text box today. But when AI is actually contextually aware and in the world with you, I think it's going to be incredibly powerful. And that's a place that we're, we're really focused on.